Hi, this is Rahul Kalatul, Design Engineer at Indofab Industries. Today, I'm going to show you how the sedimentation process happens in a clarifier and a few important parameters that affect their performance. So let's get right into it. Sedimentation is a process of phase separation. With time, the suspended solid particles in a slurry settle out naturally by gravity. This creates a clear liquid lying above the solid residue as shown in the picture. The same separation of the suspension into settled solids and clear liquid occurs continuously inside a sedimentation tank. Now there is a wide variety of circular clarifiers. This is a centrally driven circular clarifier with skimmer. It is generally preferred because of the better flow distribution. Let's take a look inside the tank to understand further. The slurry or suspension enters the tank approximately in the center through the red feed pipe. Most of the kinetic energy is absorbed by the energy dissipating feed well. Being partially submerged, the feed well also restricts the surface disturbance to the tank. Because of these quiescent conditions, the solid particles settle to the bottom of the tank. The settled sludge is then sucked out of the sludge pit for further processing. The clear liquid naturally rises to the water level and is collected through the peripheral launder. When this clarified water is the required output, it's called a clarifier like in case of a water treatment plant. When the settled sludge is the required output, like in case of extracting metals in beneficiation plant, the unit is called thickener. Now let's get to tank sizing. The volume of the tank is given by surface area times depth, which equals to tank capacity times detention time. Surface area is a function of the diameter, which is linked to the feed handling capacity of the unit. Detention time is directly linked to the depth of the tank. It controls the quality of output we get from the overflow or underflow of this unit. The lower the detention time gives more percentage solids in overflow. The higher detention time adds to the depth of the tank and its construction cost. There is a trade-off between these parameters, which is why we need to find the settling velocity that constrains everything. To calculate these parameters, we can rely on characterization study and settling test. Although empirical methods based on experience is more common, it is important to verify all the assumptions before proceeding with it. I won't be able to cover all the process parameters in this video because there is a wide variety of processes, application and site considerations that factor into it. If you need me to do a video for a more specific application, let me know in the comments below. If you need more help with these parameters, you can sign up for a free consultation with us on our website and we'll help you design an effective clarifier for your project. I'll put a link in the description below. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.